What up, everyone? It's Sitsa Mangala here, the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome to your daily revolution. Today's topic, investments versus expenses. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, yeah. Coming to you from a beautiful, beautiful afternoon here with blue skies. About 75 degrees here in Southern California. I just want to give a huge shout out to all those who follow the Prosperity Revolution, a movement that will become global here as we continue to take this message of prosperity, of possibility, and a purpose and a power and of results to every home, every marriage, every family, every business. I'm so committed to this. I have dedicated my life and the purpose of my very living to helping people to really get this, that you, my friend, are in charge of your life and you, my friend, can have the life that you want. And yes, you, my friend, can make a difference wherever you are. And yes, you can be in a place where you don't ever have to worry and stress about money again. That's what prosperity is for us. Number one, living the life you truly want. Number two, impacting and making a difference for the lives of other people. And number three, never having to worry about money again. Now, what's this podcast all about today? Investments versus expenses. Okay, well, let's talk about this. Okay, I'm a little amped up right now as I'm getting ready to go get a workout in. So, look, I pay as a business owner, right? I I pay coaches and consultants money. I pay a lot of money. But that's that's what business is. You're going to pay somewhere. And if you've ever run a business, even if you have a job and you're not like an entrepreneur or business owner, you're going to pay for things, right? You're going to pay for training. You're going to pay for supplies. You're going to pay for travel. Like you are going to pay for something. And the reason I'm, I'm bringing this up is I right now am paying a group of people money to help me with part of my business. And I just love this distinction, this distinction of that it has to be an investment. Like there has to be a return because if it, there's not a return, then it has become an expense and a liability and not an asset. And now we're in a bit of a pickle. See, I have expenses that I pay that don't really bring me a return. You know, I pay for stuff all the time, just like you do. You you got groceries and gas in your car and you buy clothes and you buy all kinds of things. And yes, you can rationalize and justify, well, this is an investment because, but I'm talking like, Dollars for dollars, cash on cash, you pay a dollar here, you make two dollars here. You put in a hundred dollars here, you get five hundred dollars here. And those are these right, these assets and these investments. And when I'm talking investments, like I'm not talking about stocks and bonds and Apple and you know, investing buying this hot stock. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like investments into you, into your team, into your business, into your systems, into leadership. So, what does this have to do with you? If you have paid a coach or a consultant or someone who's supposed to be doing work for you, and it is not an investment, meaning it's not returning you money, then you really got to go look at one of two things. Number one, you got to go look at who you're paying money to. Go look at it. I have people who pay me money. I have clients who pay to be in our programs, to be in our coaching. And I know that if they were to look at me and say, man, Satema, I'm paying you this money. It's easy for me to say, let's see if you are doing the work. Are you doing the work? Are you doing what you said you would do? Are you showing up every day and living inside of this championship system, a system that produces champions, a system that produces results. And I know without a doubt, I would put everything on this. And I'm not a betting man because my goodness, I don't even, I don't even like to bet for chocolate chip cookies. But if I was, I would make a bet and say, if you live in this, what we call this championship system, this way of prosperity, where we hit actions that matters and have high value targets and do a return report inside of our coach's corner and have season outcomes and benchmarks. If you do that, you win. You can't help but win. You can't help but make a difference and move the needle and show up powerfully. You cannot help but have results come into your life. 
So, number one, you got to really take a look at who you've hired. Number two, go look at yourself. Go stand in front of a mirror and go look at yourself and just see, have I done the work that my consultant or my coach or the system or this person has asked me to do? See, chances are, if you are like most people, our first thing, most people want to blame the person that they have hired. They want to blame them. And I'm going to ask you right now, don't ever, don't, don't do that. Don't be a victim. Take 100% responsibility and just say, okay, how can I make sure that the money that I am paying out is an investment? Well, number one, you show up and do what you said you would do. You do the work that they said to do. You show up and make the calls. You show up and, and do the work, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening. You do what's required and what you said you would do. You do that, you're going to get results. What happens if you don't? Then you got to go solve the problem. See, I know for certain, without a doubt, if you do the work that your coach or your program is telling you to do, and like you are above and beyond, like you're not just doing the minimums, but you're really putting everything on the line saying, I have paid for this, I have invested in this, I'm going to go do this. It'll work. So you think about that. I'm going to go with the big four: physical, spiritual, relational, financial. Physical. How many of you have hired a, a dietitian, a nutrition coach, a workout coach? Guarantee most of you, if you have, and when you have, if you follow the plan to a T, guarantee you're going to get results. But most people only do like sixty to seventy percent. What would happen if you were one hundred percent exact in following the protocol? Every time I've done that with my nutrition coaches and the different workout coaches, man, the results, like the, the fat melts off the body. Spiritually, how many of you are like a religious church going worshiper type of person where there's like a code of ethics and there's like specific commitments and covenants you make with your church and, you know, there's ethics that you abide by? How many of you are part of that organization or church or whatever and how many of you still don't go all in like, I'm gonna like keep some of these commandments or principles but I'm not gonna keep these what would happen if you just went all in like you just were exact relationships how many of you like have a wandering eye and still are like like you're not cheating on your spouse but you're not all in. Like, meaning you don't date your spouse, you don't love your spouse, you don't touch your spouse, you don't give them your all. Like, you're still holding back. How many of you are still doing that? How many of you have taken your spouse on a date? Huh? That's what I want to know. How many have made love to your spouse? How many of you, like, foreplayed your spouse? How many of you do the dishes for your spouse or leave the notes for your spouse? How about your children? It was beautiful today. My sons came home from school and I'm in my office and my son walks. They all come in. They all give me a hug. They're all sweaty from the walking home. It's like a mile walk or a mile and a half on the scooter. My son rides his little like razor scooter and they all come in and they give me hugs and kisses. They sit down and they tell me about their day. And I just love it. And my six-year-old comes up and he, he looks at me and his eyes are wide open. He's like, remember dad? I'm like, uh, remember what? Remember what you said yesterday? I'm like, what did I say? And I'm like, oh boy, what did I say? And he's like, remember you said that after school, we would go practice soccer. Yesterday we played football for about 30 to 45 minutes outside playing catch and you know doing some running plays. And I'm like, you're right. So I was like, daddy's going to go to the gym. And then when I come home, we will go play soccer and football. And then we will go eat dinner and come home, shower, rest, last, go to bed. They're so excited. He, re he puts his hand out to shake me. He says, we have a deal. I'm like, this guy's a character. I'm like, we do have a deal. We do have an agreement, son. Like invest. Invest in your kids. Invest in your spouse. Go all in. Follow the protocol. Follow the system. Put your freaking phones down. Guarantee you, man. The, the, like I, I'm with my boys, my phone is off. They don't need. They don't need to be, see me on my phone. I can be on my phone during work hours, after hours, after my kids are asleep. But I want to be present with my kids. I don't ever get these days back, and you don't either. And in business, my goodness, do the work.
See, in our world, in our circle of champions, in our system of championships, where we produce winners, you do actions that matter every single day. You hit your high value targets every single day. You hit your hit list every single day. Focus, ruthless commitment. You get present, like you have your blackout time off your phone. You put your phone down, go be with your family, go be with your kids, your spouse. You create time to meditate every single day. You return a report once a week, your Sunday plan, what we call the coach's corner, where you evaluate your performance the previous week, you set up the next week. Woo! And if you do this every single day, every single week, you will win. And you have stories pop up, we run the process. Like we have all these tools and systems, but all these systems and tools will not work if you don't do the work. So I'm saying, you want your money to be an investment? Do the work. You want your money going out to be just an expense? Don't do the work. You want to have a return on your, your exercise and everything you're doing? Do the work. You don't? Just spend the money and don't do the work. And then just have this expense that goes out. And the reason it's not working is because you ain't working. Plain and simple, my friends. Look, this is helpful. And, and you enjoy this. Number one, go leave a review. I'd love to have you share this. Go leave a review inside iTunes. And then check this out. ProRevDallas.com. P-R-O-R-E-V. Dallas. D-A-L-L-A-S.com. Join us at ProRevDallas.com here in October. We'd love to have you there. It's going to be three powerful days. And get your tickets right now. Have an amazing day, my friends. What did you hear from this for you? Are you willing to go do the work for you? I love you. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.